Hello everyone and thank you for checking in. My name is Martin and in this video I'm going to show you how you can boost the skin texture uh, only by using adjustment layers. Adjustment layers that allows you to work with lights such as curves, uh, levels, brightness contrast or exposure. So uh, let's set uh, some things straight. The skin is not flat texture. We have differences um, with the lights. So in some areas we have uh, some more pores, in some we have less. But if we are able to extract these differences, we can uh, boost the contrast between those, these small pores. And actually working with adjustment layer uh, could help us. Uh, I always was getting a question why I did not sharpen the certain image and that was the reason for that. So let's start. I'm going to start with curves. It's just a very common adjustment layer. And I'm going to name this light. And the crucial part for this is to work with the mask. So as we create that adjustment layer, we have this uh, white square over here. And we need to create very special uh, mask over this. And to do this, I'm going to go to select and color range. So yes, we need to work with color range uh, to create really a nice mask. So if you want to strictly focus on boosting this uh, small uh, light over the image, you can use the sampled colors. So how to do this? Um, you can choose sampled colors, then choose this eyedropper and simply hit on this particular light. So it will allow you to have nice mask that will include include the, the, the differences. So you will have the white mask over the very bright areas and the darker mask over the darker areas. Thanks to this, you will be able to build up the contrast. The other way of uh, doing this, uh, you can also go with the highlights. So with the highlights, uh, you have to do some more work over the range. So make sure the range uh, will be set to maximum and then uh, the fuzziness to set up the range of the mask. So maybe something around this. I will check here how the mask looks like because uh, at this moment, the mask over here, I can see it's different, so it's not really relevant. So I'm going to make it stronger because I see on this mask here, it's not exactly the same. Could be some bug in Photoshop. And I'm going to hit OK. And I want to see how this mask looks like. What I'm going to do, I'm going to press Alt or Option to see how the mask looks. And as I mentioned, the, the areas that were very bright are close to white or very white, and the areas that are a little bit darker um, have some gray tones. So if we can boost the light in the areas where we have highlights, uh, we will apply more light. In the areas where we don't have such a strong highlights, we will apply less light. And because of this, the texture will be boosted so let's uh, let's see how it looks in the practice so i'm going to press alt or option again to turn this off zoom in somewhere here i want to make sure i'm going to boost it here and on the neck i don't really want to boost it here here is already too strong so i'm pretty sure i'm going to mask it i'm going to open curves grab it and go up with it Something like this, that looks pretty good. I might darken the shadows. So we also change the saturation. It's not good to change the saturation. So this is why I would change blending mode from normal to luminosity to make sure I'm not changing the color. So let's have a look at the neck. As you can see, uh, the texture, the skin, uh, look harsher and looks more realistic. Uh, of course, uh, setting up the, the 
this uh, precise curve over here with the highlights and shadows in it's optional you will boost uh, this texture just by dragging this up anyway there's few things i want to fix because i think this pores here got too strong so i want them stronger here as you can see before after really nice texture we got here but this area not first of all this area is too bright for and second of all this area is too harsh so on this mask, I'm going to choose a brush and black color of the brush. And I will paint this over just like this. Let's have a look. Maybe that was a little too much. So I'm not going to cover as much of it, but lower the flow and slightly I will try to cover so the areas is just not so distracting let's have a look now and that looks absolutely perfect yes you noticed right we also boosted the highlights so if the image gets too bright you can always lower the exposure uh, that would help but this is the step that I would mainly use to boost the contrast when we work with the image image is usually flat and if you need to boost the contrast this is great technique to work uh, precisely with the highlights improve the contrast and at the same time being able to boost the skin texture and this was often the reason why later at the end I would not really sharpen the image because at this moment you can tell that the skin texture is uh, very strongly visible and there is no reason to add any more sharpening to this. Thank you for watching. I just want to remind to you that I'm offering free retouching essentials course on my website uh, retouchingninja.com. The link is in the description, so join for free. And for now, thank you for watching, and I'm going to see you very soon in the next Photoshop tutorial.